Hello and welcome to a video tutorial on how to insert shapes into Google Drawings. My name is Tyler Osborne. So to insert a shape, what you're going to need to do is go to the Shape tool on a blank Google Drawing. And the Shape tool is right underneath the range and it looks like a circle and a square. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this and it has a drop down and I can put in equations for uh, any math that I want to do, callouts for things like comics, arrows. Now there is another place that you can get arrows, but these arrows can be typed in whereas the other arrows can't, and shapes. So I'm going to go ahead and draw um, a circle here. Now, if you hover over top of each shape, it'll actually tell you what it is. So these ones down here are for like flow charts. These ones up here are just pure shapes. So I want an oval, and I'm gonna be able to make it look like a circle. So if I click and drag, I can make it look like a circle, I can make it wide, or I can make it skinny. Uh, maybe I'm gonna make it a little bit wide, just like that. Now the default in Google Drawings is this bluish color, and Google Slides is kind of a gray. If you don't want this bluish color, you go to the paint cam, you click on it once, and you go down to the color that you do want, and I want this one brown. Now the outside, it's hard to see, but there is a black border all the way around the outside of the shape. To change that, I'm gonna go up to the border color, which is right beside the paint cam, and then I'm going to click on the same color, and if I click off, you'll notice that it just completely disappears. The, the border is gone because the border and the shape itself are the same color. Now, there's an interesting thing here that I wanted to show you. I'm gonna draw two of these teardrop shapes. If I start, not clicked on this shape here, and draw the teardrop shape, it should give me one of those blue ones with the black border, let's see. See what happens, so I let go. Yeah, it's a blue one with a black border. But watch what happens when I draw the exact same shape, but this time I'm gonna click on my brown one before I start drawing. Now I'm gonna to go to the shape tool. I'm gonna to pick the teardrop shape. Do you notice how there's still a blue outline to my brown um, oval there? I'm gonna draw the exact same shape, let go, and the formatting is intact. So this is a kind of a cheat. If you want to draw a whole bunch of shapes at once, but you don't want to redo the formatting each time, make sure you click on one of the shapes that's formatted correctly before you draw your next shape. It'll keep that blue outline on it, and your new shape will be formatted in the exact same way, the colors, the borders, all that. This trick works both in Google Drawings and in Google Slides. All right, that's all you need to know about how to create drawings or create um, pictures um, using shapes in Google Slides. Thanks for, thanks for watching.